Hey folks, it's Cat Beanie and welcome back to another episode in my long-term survival series. Uh, I honestly thought those guys were trying to make babies, like they were trying to make babies last time. Obviously I'm in the stronghold world because uh, last time I was in here I came, came over just to show people basically how lucky I was, how lucky I got with this seed. Then when I first started this seed, I had never had a long term survival world before. I was a person that would go from world to world to world to world to world. And I thought, you know what, I really need to try and stick it out at one. I didn't know that this was going to be the one, but this ended up being the one. Uh, I started it before uh, the spawn was right next to the village, as I showed you in the last episode of my long-term survival series. Um, if you've not seen it, you can go onto my playlists of my long-term survival series playlist and check out the last episode. Uh, uh, it might be in the seat episode, though, because I think I was checking out potential new seats for a new long-term survival series when I oh, don't go off the site, I always get paranoid that bit. Uh, when I uh, oh god that's so trippy Whee! it's so much fun though, worth it worth it oh almost there here we go alright oh. gives me sort of sicky vibes uh, yeah so it might be in the seeds episode, which would be in my Minecraft other playlist. Why have I got cooked mutton? I don't know, but it is what it is. Right, uh, I'm gonna go to. S I need to get some more chorus plants to plant here because I, I think I took the top off one of them. But now we, you know you can eat it, but you can't. Where the cra- oh. Wow, that was fun. Uh, ended up in the old cow pit. I really need to think of something to do with this area. It used to be cows, but it is no longer cows. Uh, this, oh, that's the bin. I forgot about the bin. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so I'm going to go to sleep and then I'm going to do some more mining for my 500 diamond blocks. I Make think we're currently at... I was going to say 175, but I'm sure that I got more uh, last time. And we're going we're to go down to the old mine because last time I did mining it was in the new mine over there at the... Uh, deep slate mine. So we're gonna go into the old pre 1.19 mine. So if anybody that's not seen my content before, please consider liking and subscribing. I think I've got 155 subscribers now. So thanks so much. Like I came on, uh, like one day, uh. Because like last time I checked I had like 144 or something and then I came on the other day and I don't know if it's just that I've just not registered it, like it's just not went in. Uh, but like I turned around to Tomas and like, whoa it's went up like a whole 10 subscribers, like what, what happened? I'm like, thank you very much guys that um, decided to choose me for your YouTube screening pleasure. That sounded really weird. I should probably never say that again. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much. And I hope you are entertained uh, with my many ramblings between actual oh. Minecraft content and, you know, also random rumblings of my personal views oh, about okay. things, which... Uh, this, I notice, like, especially on, like, the mining videos when I'm not, like actively engaged in some minecraftness uh, that I do tend to voice my personal opinions more 
I wouldn't call them, say, they're much opinions, just my, my thoughts at the time. Obviously, like everybody, uh, now, this really annoys me about some people. When you voice uh, a thought or opinion or something you believe is fact and then turn around later on and change your mind because either you've learnt new information on the subject or you've had a change of heart or just, you know, any of that sort of stuff. Uh, the thing that annoys me is people that you have previously voiced Z opinion to turning around and arguing with you about the opinion you had because, oh, you're saying this now, but that's not what you said before. Like, people are allowed to change their minds about things. Um, I'm going to tell you a story about my daughter's third birthday. Now, my son was due to be born on my, on my daughter's third birthday. Uh, I was oh, almost staying that level. Uh, I was induced with him a week uh, before, exactly a week before. So their birthdays are exactly a week apart. Uh, so a week later, um, this is before I could drive, uh, Obviously, I'm out of hospital, my newborn's a week old. Uh, we want to do something fun for her birthday. We want to take her soft play and swimming. Uh, I don't know, like, I think you guys call a soft play centre or a soft play centre. I don't know what uh, other name there possibly could be for a, you know, paddy kid cage play area. Uh, But yeah, we wanted to take my daughter softly and swimming for her third birthday. Uh, at, like, I did double check with the doctor that it was okay to take, obviously, a newborn into the pool uh, because of the whole, oh, they need to have their vaccinations first. That's uh, not exactly the case anymore. I don't know why it was the case. But who, why, where do you guys keep coming from? Where the... where? What the... Right, I'm not losing my mind, right? I did get shot by something. But I don't know where or why or... I have no idea. Uh, yeah. Dude, where are you? You're like a skeleton ninja. Is he up there? I feel like it's got to be up there, right? Uh, so yeah, kid's birthday. Um, not making a big deal of it because, you know, I've just squeezed us. Whoa, you almost knocked me in lava, man. Because, uh, you know, I just squeezed a tiny human out of my hoo-ha like a week prior. Uh, wasn't feeling that enthusiastic about being in a bathing suit, you know? Uh, but anyway, I women up, get the job done, go out, uh, and as I said, it was before either me or my husband could drive. Um, my husband just passed his test not that long ago. I think I probably told you guys earlier at some point. Uh, one minor. So he's like with one minor. <laughs> yes, you're a very clever boy. Uh. Um, oh, more dead. Uh, yeah, so went to get on the bus, and the first bus we get on uh, to go there well, we only need to get one bus there. There was a woman there with her, I want to say the kid was like five. Now, at the time, I was really angry. My baby was a week old. Uh, I was absolutely fuming and didn't have the understanding or patience that I have today. I mean, it's not that much more than it probably should be, but I didn't have the understanding or patience that I have now. 
die. All right, I need to this. We don't have. Um, so I was fuming. Obviously, I didn't say anything to the women. Uh, I'm not really a confrontational person unless I have to be. Uh, and there are situations where I have had to be. Um, but anyway, we'll get to those at a later date. So, kid's birthday, newborn, in the buggy. This woman wouldn't fold her stroller down with her four, five, six year old child in it uh, because her kid didn't have any shoes on and she just said it was easier to not so obviously we had to fold down our buggy and hold my newborn son on the bus all the way to the swimming soft play place. Now, as I said, I was absolutely fuming. I mean, what person doesn't fold down a stroller for a pram with a newborn baby in it, you know? But looking back now, after having two kids on the spectrum, uh, well, I know some people don't like that term. Uh, like two autistic children. Yeah, I, I can now look at it and go, well, maybe her son was autistic. Maybe she was struggling to deal with their behaviour. Maybe they couldn't wear socks because of sensory overload. You know, and all this stuff that I never would have comprehended before goes through my mind now. And if I was in the same position again with uh, my youngest, there's no way in hell I would get mad at that. Uh, like, I wouldn't get mad at that person or lady if I was in the same situation now because now I know better. Uh, it's like, we... I have been screamed at on the bus. Like, thank God I can drive now. Uh, but I have been screamed at on the bus previously uh, because I had my son's disability chair. Now, it, to be fair to some people, it looks like a bigger ver version of a stroller. But it is a disability push chair for kids with additional support needs and disabilities. So I got screamed at by a guy in a wheelchair to get the F out of the spot because it's for disabled people. Uh, having to explain to him that I understand that, sir. Uh, and my son is also disabled, so get it round you, you ignorant toolbag. I have absolutely no respect for people that want to act like idiots. Now, I can understand the guy's frustration. He's probably been waiting ages on a bus for God knows how long because X, Y, Z amount of people take up the disability space and the bus... I need more storage, huh? Uh, and the bus driver... Actually, I can just chuck these blocks on that. Uh, the bus driver can ask the person to move uh, but if the person says no that that's that's the limit that's all the bus driver can do uh, like they're not allowed yeah. to force people off the bus um, for it Uh, there have been occasions where, like, they told, like, rude people to get off the bus. 
uh, but it's very like few and far between. Uh, so we had a, like I emailed the company because I had been asked by bus drivers in the past to fold down a stroller uh, to accommodate a, another disabled person. So I emailed the company and to their credit they gave us a special pass that I showed to the driver whenever we were in that sort of situation. Uh, and people don't always take disabled children seriously, especially those with cognitive and developmental disabilities as opposed to a physical disability. Um, so, but it's not just abled people that can be ignorant uh, and make assumptions. Disabled people can also be ignorant and make assumptions, uh, myself included. <laughs> I'm getting the waggy finger for the husband. <laughs> um, but yeah. Like, I did not think... Like, I used to get really bored uh, really quickly and have absolutely no staying power and no patience. And, as I've said before, patience has been a thing that I have been working on for a long time. And I feel like having kids, especially those with additional support needs um, has helped me a lot with my ability to become a more patient person because obviously I need to be able I'm getting a lot of emeralds into here I guess we're under the big part of the mountain because I didn't get a lot like back there where it's lower down if that makes sense uh, yeah, and that's one of the great things about being a yeah, parent <laughs> of disabled children. Like, they will teach you so much, and every milestone and every achievement is a massive deal. Uh, and it's just amazing. Obviously that following on from my post, was it yesterday or the day before, about obviously some people not being able to manage kids. Which is fine. I, my personal feelings on that sort of stuff is as long as you don't harm kids, don't do anything wrong to kids. Uh, obviously, if you're someone that recognises that you need help and support, or that you feel like your child would be better suited in a different environment that is not with you, uh, if you recognise your limitations and put that child's best interest at heart and do what is best for them uh, because some some people don't recognize obviously what they're doing could be potentially whether it's physically emotionally mentally scarring their child uh, I know my biological father didn't realize the extent um, and still doesn't, uh, that his alcoholism had, has had on his kids. Um, so, I'm not here to judge anybody whether they have 
access or custody to their kids or not, but as long as you have done right by your child and done what's best for them, that is all anybody can ask. Whatever form that looks like. Uh, because unfortunately in a perfect world everybody would obviously be able to look after their own children and blah 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 etc 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 but we don't live in a perfect world we can just do our best with the one we're given there's a lot of gravel down here huh Right. Uh, on a more positive note, anyway, I did. Uh, like, it's not my daughter's birthday till November. Uh, like, my youngest was born on bonfire night, which is the fifth of November. It's, um, it's like not a massive deal in UK, but we have like bonfires and fireworks. And remember the time uh, Guy Fox tried to blow up Parliament. Good times. <laughs> Maybe watch FIFA Vendetta. <laughs> Stop wagging your finger at me. Crazy. Anybody want a spare husband? You are the spare husband. Put your hand down. <laughs> no, I'm getting the finger. Uh, free to. Not even a good home, just a uh, one that will feed them, clothe them, give them access to an Xbox. <laughs> well, I can't do everything for you, Jesus. <laughs> Don't do it. Alright, those, those uh, three kids, uh, just that. Nah. You put them there. Don't get married, folks. Yeah, it's a sham. <laughs> it's a sham. Uh, marriage, am I right? Okay. Oh, Uh, despite what we say, we do actually kind of like each other sometimes. Well, it better be one of the guys. Uh, but yeah, like we took our youngest up the local estate, which is like just over the road from us. Uh, it's where I do the majority of the kids' pictures. Like I do, I've been doing the other two's photos there annually for about. Uh, six or seven years now, so I do them like twice a year. Uh, like I do a set before Christmas, and I do a set before their birthdays. Uh, but because now two of their birthdays are in April, and one of their birthdays in November, I took the youngest up to do her first birthday photos. Uh, now because. By the time we get to November, it's going to be too cold to get anything nice. So I'm quite happy to say, uh, even myself, that her birthday photos are looking on point. Uh, and there'll probably be one or two of those on Twitter or my Instagram. Uh, on the 5th of November, so if you want to check out what I did, then just hit up my Twitter or Instagram on the 5th of November. Oh no, I did the same! Uh, I did send uh, them to my granny, however. Where is my end bit here? I feel like I've gone like way further than a hundred blocks. Am I losing my mind?
Where's my tunnel? That was me. <laughs> Why are there no... Where's my tunnel? I don't have any... Oh, 46 seconds in. What's going on? <laughs> I just you can see how many bugs yeah, so she looks absolutely gorgeous in her little dress. Aww. Am I going the wrong way? What the fuck did you get through there? Is this my tunnel? And I've just completely just kept on going. I think, I think that's what I've done. Right. I am a bit of an arse. Can't complain. I'm telling for you for cheating. <laughs> uh, Yeah, I think that's what I've done. Uh, anyway, we'll just chuck those in there just now. Grab that, thank you. Right, one, two. Oh, well, we went a little bit extra. I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure I need to end this video soon. What? How? Why is it going for so long? That's fine, I don't have... <laughs> there isn't a stream tonight that I need to moderate and yeah, okay. the yeah. youngest is in bed I and the other going. two are about to be going to bed in yeah, about half an hour but they're currently in their bedrooms playing their um, their own consoles like some people think that I'm on like my laptop all day like playing minecraft and just like Ignoring the kids. Yeah, it's like, like I don't get to <laughs> do any gaming the until the smallest is in the head. So all of my recording is done uh, while I'm getting. There's like currently there is never a time where I am gaming that I am not recording. Uh, because I don't have the time. Uh, I maybe get like an hour or two at night if I'm lucky. And that's obviously if it's not on a night where I need to be available to moderate a live stream. Which is fine. It's a... Keeps me sane. It's a commitment that I took on when I was pregnant with the youngest and it's something I am um, like happy to continue to do. I, like I love being a moderator. Uh, so it's not something I feel hinders me putting out content. Although, like, I have had people say, Buster, uh, <laughs> that I'm putting them all to shame because, like, I do try and put out a video every day. But, as I said, I am literally just recording my gameplay while I talk crap on the internet. And thankfully, so some people find that entertaining. Uh, I don't know why I'm going back to chess because like literally no space so I might just chuck this stuff in the lava. It's not like I need any more cobblestone at the minute. don't really need any bones either. Although I don't have this is one of the downsides to this world so far. I do not have a skeleton spawner. I've got loads of zombie spawners, all the other spawners about. I do not have a skeleton spawner. And it drives me nuts. Uh, I don't 
it does it drives me bonkers like i just i just want one i just want one but i like i have been all over this map like if you want to see more of what i've done uh feel free to have a look at my playlist my long-term survival playlist uh and you'll see obviously some of the stuff i've done with this world and some of the stuff i've built and where i've been not one skeleton spawner i'm like seriously but anyway that's my rant please remember to like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one goodbye